Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, I am Kira and welcome to my little corner here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing part three of my favorite makeup brushes and I do have a makeup tutorial on this look. This is just my New Year's Eve um, party makeup look and outfit of the day has been this Charlotte Russe like little crop top that I got and these high-waisted pants that I love. I love high-waisted pants. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it because I don't have a lot of space on my computer. So this is my Real Techniques. I believe it's called the All Over Shadow Brush, but I could be wrong about what it is called because I've had this for so long. It, the name has literally rubbed off. Again, I like to blend out my eyeshadow primer with this and I t turn it to the other side and then I set it down with the other side. This is just like a dome brush. I think people call these shader brushes. These are honestly really good brushes to contour your nose with also. But that's what I use this for is just boop, 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 and then blend it out. I'm I'm looking for someone and some stuff that's supposed to be coming soon. So um, I've had this brush since 2015 and it is still going strong in 2021. Just gonna point that out. I love Real Techniques brushes. Real Techniques brushes last so long. Next is this Wet n Wild Rebel Rose brush. So this is um, a brush I use in the crease. So sometimes I will actually put my crease color down with it and blend it out depending on the kind of look I'm going for. But sometimes I will pack the color into the crease with this brush and then go in with a separate crease brush and blend it out like that. Because this brush, the way it is designed with the rose petals on the side, it does sometimes make it a little harder to blend out, which is people's issues with this brush. I've said it before with my face bra with the face brush. But I love the aesthetic, I love the design, and the Rebel Rose collection fit my aesthetic so much when I was younger. And I have some serious connections to it because this collection my grandfather actually went all throughout um, Myrtle Beach looking for at every drugstore. And he paid like $80 for it for me. And it was just so amazing. And it was before he had his stroke, which inevitably ended up taking his life. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry I got a little emotional on you guys there. So this is just like one of those little no-name brushes that I got in a Christmas gift set in 2015. Like I have the I, the brow brush, the brow brush I love also from this brush set. I featured it in my collection. I will use, this is just like a little shader brush, but a flat top shader brush. But I use this to apply my inner corner highlight today. And you can also use this to apply like your shadow. I've even used brushes like this to cut the crease. I don't think I've ever mentioned that before. So, I mean, this is like a, a really good multi-use brush. And I definitely think that you need a brush like this in your collection. This is the Moda Smoky Eye Brush. This is just a fatter pencil brush. I put my lower lash line color on. You always need a pencil brush in your collection. It just depends on your eye shape and the kind of looks you're going for with which eye brush you kind of want to prefer. If you want a fatter eye brush like this or if you want a skinnier like pencil brush. This is the Olimar Cosmetics. I believe it's like a brow brush. This also came in a boxy charm. It's just a straight line. It's a little thinner. I used this to do my brows today and... I just really love Olimar Cosmetics' brushes. I really want to check Olimar Cosmetics out. I'm not going to lie. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I use this for face products, and I also use it for to blend out my cream contour. So this is a really good brush. My issue is, is that I've had this less than the Real Techniques brushes, and it is starting to shed. I've had it for a few years, so it did last a long time, but it is starting to shed, so I actually need to get a replacement of it. And then finally... This is the Real Techniques 031 brush. This is, I didn't know what you would use this for, but I just use it for highlight, honestly. Um, the aesthetic of the Real Techniques brushes are beautiful. I loved this look, and Real Techniques brushes last so long for me. But yeah, I've only ever used this for highlight, to be completely honest. So anyways, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.